subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Look at the video. Compare the strength of One Piece newspaper. And when combined with glue, what do you notice? Yes, the combination of paper and glue gives more strength compared to the original newspaper. Combination of these materials result in substance with different properties from the original materials. This new material is called composite material. The earliest form of buildings were built of mud bricks. What is the ingredient used to make a mud brick? Click on your choice of ingredients. Then, click on the check button once you are done. A mud brick house will not stand the rage of Mother Nature. True or false? Click on your choice of answers. Then click on the check button once you are done. Such house will not last longer because it is easily eroded by wind and water and easily cracked under scorching sun heat. Later discovered, by adding straw, it will make the mud brick stronger with good compressive and tensile strength. What is used to build such building? Click on the building. Thanks to our scientists and engineers, for their countless effort in finding new and better materials to build such building. Now, let's recall what we have learned. In the beginning, what is used to make a mud brick? What is used to replace the mud brick? Click and drag to place them in a box labeled Original Material. The selection of the material used are based on its property. In either cases, new material is created with better properties than its original materials. This new material is known as composite material. Now, try to answer these questions. Key in your answer. Based on the information gathered, define what is composite material. Key in your answer. Most composite materials are formed by combining two or more materials. The materials are selected based on their properties. By carefully choosing the materials, we can produce a composite material with the desired properties. Identify the properties of the selected materials used to produce a composite material. Key in the properties of the selected material. Now, can you compare properties of other composite material and its original materials? 
Have you seen this object? Do you know what it is for? This is a water container. This container is made from a mixture of water and clay. Do you think it is hard enough and will not be broken to pieces? Do you think it can last long? Click the photo. Now, we do not use a clay water container, but a plastic container instead. Will a plastic container last long? Can it withstand heat and tension? Click the photo. What will you do to resolve this problem? Yes, we need to create a new material which can fulfill the specific requirement. That is, a water container which is strong, durable, can withstand certain amount of heat and lightweight. How are we going to do it? When creating new material or solving problem, we need to organize our thoughts. What should you do first? Yes, we must know what is the problem. Click on the red button. For example, the plastic water container we are using now is not strong and cannot withstand heat. Then, set the objective. Click on the red button. For example, the objective is to create a new material used in making a water container which is strong, durable, can withstand heat and lightweight. Next, Think of suitable materials to be used to create the new materials. Click on the red button. Should bear in mind, when making choice of selections, we should choose materials that have the properties needed. For example, to make the water container, the possible materials are plastic and fiber of glass woven in some sort of cloth. To bind them, we can use a semi-liquid substance like molten plastic to hold the materials together. Then, product testing and quality control. Click on the red button. We need to test the new material created to see whether it has the properties needed to make a good water container. If it does, then a new composite material is created. Composite materials is not a new thing. Our ancestors have ever since created composite material in so many fields. Take the mud brick for example. Then there should be a reason to why composite material is needed and created. Click the photo to know more. Concrete is a well-known composite material that has been used for a long time in the construction of buildings and bridges. Concrete has good strength under compression, but it is weak in tension. This can be overcome by adding metal rods, wires, and mesh to the composite. Tire at the beginning was made from solid rubber. This type of tire is heavy and not suitable when using at high speed. Nowadays, tires are constructed of layers which include rayon cloth, steel bands, and nylon belts on top of rubber. Such a tire gives a more comfortable ride, reduces vibration, and improves traction. If you ever think that airplanes are made of solid metal, then you have to think again. A small crack in a piece of metal can spread very rapidly with very serious consequences. The fibers in a composite will act to block the widening of any small crack and to share the stress around. It is common now to find wing and tail sections, propellers and rotor blades which are made from advanced composites. In this lesson, you have learned that Composite materials are engineered materials 
made from two or more constituent materials with significantly different physical or chemical properties and which remain separate and distinct within the finished structure. The new composite materials are produced to fulfill specific purposes. The examples of composite materials Reinforced concrete Superconductor Fiberglass and photochromic glass. Usually, general procedures to make the composite materials are First, we must set the objective or the aim of making composite materials. Then, we have to investigate what kinds of materials are suitable. This is followed by using trial and error method to develop the new material. Finally, the new composite material is produced. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.